Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm uh, Dr. Kaborkian today, as you can tell. I thought that would be a more appropriate name for this subject matter, which is that of uh, worn out or almost dead engines and making this clip because I could not find, uh, on a quick search anyway, a clip about talking about spark plug non-foul adapters or anti-foul anti yeah, adapters. Just clips of guys using them on oxygen sensors, which is I don't understand that. I think it has just something to do with being broke, or maybe something even worse. I don't know if it has something to do with broke back mountain or not. But anyway, I digress as usual. And uh, anyway, this is what a spark plug non-foul adapter looks like, or a type of one. This one. Uh, surely there's other types because this one is for like little short stubby spark plugs like these like for a, a, a small engine lawnmower or chainsaw or whatever now this one's a short stubby but believe it or not I think this actually came out of an old uh, 440 Chrysler cylinder head engine but um, all this non-foul adapter does is cover your plug to keep carbon and crap out of there the story behind why I have this one is I had an old snapper lawnmower, actually still have it, that it got so bad that I was having to like clean the plug every time I use the thing or else the engine wouldn't start, run. So this thing just covers your, your uh, spark plug and keeps as much crap from getting packed into the plug and fouling it out. It just has this little like 3 16 or smaller hole that allows you know it to find the spark so anyway there's got to be other types of these available though because if you get into some of these with more thread like this one's got over a half inch of thread this sucker here has got uh, like a whole inch of thread and this thing's going to bottom out before that'll work so Sorry, I, I digress. I failed to mention that this is a band-aid fix for a worn-out engine or, and or way out of tune. It's, so, anyway, there's only much time in the day. Who wants to rebuild their engine? You know, every, you know, today or whatever. So, but I was thinking you can make these work if you wanted to stack up some washers, but they might be too fat, so you could make, you could use some aluminum you might could get away with some aluminum but it'd be better to use steel so it'd be tougher and last longer but uh, you could just make an adapter for these like and you just have to measure it you could use some three quarter inch round stock or maybe a little smaller but uh, just make it to where this would this would have to bottom out because if you use this sucker on one of these long plugs like this that grounding tab is going to bottom out and bend down there and short out so it'd be pretty pointless but anyway while we're talking about worn out engines you want to be smart at what kind of oil you're using I got some thin stuff here this is 520 thin uh, for a like new or for a new engine or cold cold weather that's good stuff I like to use this full synthetic 1030 Super Tech, aka Walmart brand, and my daily driver, and uh, that's a good that's a good way to oil for uh, this Middle Tennessee climate. It's fairly warm. I use this stuff on my sister's old doo doo brown car that's kind of worn out, which it's really our car now, I guess. But that's kept from having to check it real often and keep it from using it or burning it up. This stuff, 2050, is even thicker. That's good for a worn-out engine or real hot summer weather. And then the who's your daddy of all thick motor oil is the no smoke. And that's right in league with the spark plug non-foul adapter, man. You can see how slow it takes, This how thick this stuff is that'd be thick so so that's for a seriously worn out engine you know you got a fine ride when you're using that anyway I'm rambling 
on to the next good thing.